here today and I'm going to be showing my Nintendo 64 collection. I wanted to do it for a while. I did my 360 about maybe less than a week ago. I want to go over a couple more things but this is one of the things that, that came in mind when I wanted to make a video. I always try to make my videos a couple days in advance so I have some time to think of some more ideas and then and then come up with it. But uh, I'm going to be getting into that. I'll be showing you what I do have. I have a few good ones. I have, uh, I'm a Resident Evil collector, so I have a few of those. And, well, I'll be getting with my Vox game, so keep it interesting. So you guys check it out. Um, I got this at the game store, uh, I think about one year ago. Uh, Resident Evil 2 inside the box. The, the, the second one just came out, so I don't know if that makes it worth anymore or not, but... This is the collector's, like, this is a nice one to have, like, uh, I do like this. I, I'm hoping I can get, um, another Resident Evil I'm looking for as well is a PS1 long box, a long box one. That's what I'm trying to look for. I haven't, I haven't found very many. I, I've, I've seen a Twisted Metal long box before. Um, this is the next game. I got Perfect Dart. It's, it's a pretty good game. It's similar to James Bond. But um, it, it's definitely different because it has different guns, different maps, different everything. But they just never really proceed to make another one. So I don't know what happened or what's, what changed. Or they just never made a new one. Uh, this is another one I have in the box. I remember this one because it was at the mall we used to play when we were younger. Uh, Rush. I actually have Rush 2 somewhere in the pile. Um, this was a pretty good game. I, I don't really remember ever playing it besides inside the mall, but it was a pretty fun game. You can smash people off the roads. It was similar to Need for Speed and Burnout at the time, all in competition for gaming. <clears throat> I'll be moving. I'll be moving on to this little pile of games I have. This is these games are not probably not the best, but got um, WrestleMania 2000. Um, got Bass Hunters for Nintendo 64. That's not really. The best game. I'm just throwing off a couple of my side games I had to the side. Rush 2, there it is. Um, got Monster Truck and NASCAR. There's just a couple games that like, I really, it doesn't matter too much. Here's another stack I have I can show you guys. Nightmare Creature, this is a good one. It's a pretty scary game based. So if you guys like scary games, uh, Nightmare Creature would be a good one. It's definitely hard because it's a little bit hard because of the controlling, but other than that, it's a pretty fun game. <clears throat> Moving on to the next, <laughs> Backstage Assault. This game is very cheap because you can tell I still have stickers on it. I don't care too much, but I got it because it's a blue 64 game and I think it's a dollar or something. Put that in the pile. I got this a while ago. I didn't really care too much about WCW. I think this is a couple bucks. This is a cheaper one. If you want 64 games, you can pick this up. Um, Here's a good one, uh, South Park Rally. I think I tried this a couple months ago. Let my friend borrow it too. It's a pretty enjoyable game. Remember the the turkey hunt? Yeah, I really want to get that one. My buddy has it right now. I was like, damn, he got it for like around thirty dollar. Um, moving on to the next, another wrestling game. Ooh, just put it in the pile. <laughs> That's what I think is a wrestling game. They're they're alright, but like nothing. They're not worth too much for Epic Great. Super Mario World, Super Mario World 64. This is one of the first 3D games ever. If you guys don't like this, you better like this. This was a good one. Uh, roughly, this game is not too bad price, and um, it's a pretty fun game for the 64. Um, damn, another wrestling game. Yeah, I'm gonna put that right in the pile. Army Men. That was a pretty good one. I. I honestly remember playing it when I was younger. It was very, very, very good. Besides, like, I, I remember you had to beat the game or something like that to unlock all the maps. But I remember you can play in the bathtub and in, in the kitchen and stuff like that. So this is a pretty good game. It's not too bad in price either. Um, moving on to the next, this one is exciting. Um, when I first got the Zelda the Mask. Well, well um... Origin of the mask. Origins of the mask. My bad. My bad. But um, this game, when I first bought it, I thought I got ripped off. But I honestly, I just had to clean it, and it worked perfect. Now it's the one. It's like a three D effect. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Actually, yeah, you can. That's pretty cool. Nice. Cutting. <laughs> the paper boy. <laughs> I don't know what to say too much about that, but paper boy. It's it's the paper boy.
this game, Quake, this was a pretty good one. This one was similar to what was it I was thinking about. I have written this pile right here. It's similar to that game. Oh, yeah, Toro Rock. Yeah, this game is similar to Toro Rock if you like Quake or you like um, PC games, like older PC games. This is what it's similar to. It's like Unworld Tournament, similar to that. So that's a very good game pick up if you guys like that. Visual Annie. I remember playing this when I was younger. It's very similar to Twisted Metal. Uh, look at it, but it's yeah, it's very similar to Twisted Metal. You blow up cars, shoot people. It's pretty good. Some games are pretty fun to go back to. Some are just like why, but some most of the games that I got, they were pretty enjoyable when I went back to them. Plus, I still can. Uh, James Bond. That's always a great one. Uh, that's not the original. Original one I have up there. I have original James Bond too, but this is the next one to it. So nice. Nice, nice. I don't have really too much to say besides the maps are pretty good for that game. X3, the gate, the, the, the case is a little banged up, but um, overall this is a pretty good game. I started this game a long time ago. Got a, got into it a little bit, but I think I actually did a video on one of those. One of those Gex games. I, I, don't, I think it was the first one. Original. Rainbow Six, this is where it started from. 64. <laughs> I got old that. Like, I don't even know if people even remember Rainbow Six that old. But it is that old. Just like Call of Duty's really old game. Well, it's not really, really old, but like, it's came a long ways to what it is now. Pretty much what I'm saying. Rush. Another, what? Damn, another Rush. I don't know if I if it's in the box or just have it out or I have two Rushes, but that's cool. I, I just think I actually took it out of the box one day. This is a pretty good game. Uh, one one of one of the first 3D games as well too. Uh, Fox uh, Star Fox 64. A lot of people did like this game. When I first got it, it was all banged up. It looked disgusting. But I I got these new cases for 64. I need to get some more. Um, it protects it, it makes it dust proof, and it makes sure your games don't get ruined. Well, it doesn't protect against water, but dust it will. Mm. Yeah, I got this one at the store. Um, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Or not Shadow. That's what it looks like. Shadows of the Empire. I don't know if that's what it says, but it's chipped off a little bit right here on it. But, got that. I played that a little bit. I remember the music. Uh, but, I don't remember playing it too much. That that was our game. for. I think I got it for 5 bucks somewhere. So, I picked it up. Tor Rock 2. And... Tor Rock 1. I do not have the third one. The third one is one of the best. I'm happy that I do have these two. That It's pretty decent. But uh, I'm looking for the third one, so I can't wait to grab that up. <clears throat> Just because I remember that one was like one of my favorite out of all of them. <clears throat> well, i got a couple more show. I actually, I actually have James Bond here, the original. The original is right here, and this game is not too bad price. I think it runs about twenty dollars, fifteen to twenty dollars used, or something like that. And uh, it's working pretty good. It's just someone came in the door. It's good, but I have a couple more games to show. I'll save the best for last. But this is a pretty good game. Banjo, yeah, Banjo Kazooie. I, I remember playing this when I was younger. It was pretty decent. I remember my brother was a little bit more into it. I just remember, like, you could fly, and there's, like, gold coins and stuff you have to collect. It's pretty much exactly, like, what is that game? Crash, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. It's very, very, very similar to this. So, if you if you like that game, you probably like this. And this game ain't too bad in price either, so, like, you could probably find it pretty much anywhere. Alright, working on to our next game, Resident Evil 2. Everybody loves that. They just made a remake of it, so like that's awesome. Like it's weird because like I have the most of Resident Evil Two. I don't know if that's gonna affect it anyway in the future one day, but um, it's definitely a decent game. It's definitely awesome. Well, that that's the end of my video. I pretty much showed all the games that I do have, a few others I think so just laying around. But other than that, that's all my games that I do have for sixty four. I wanted to show you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Bless your heart. Peace out, guys. One love. Yeah.